My people, my tribe, my name is Zintaro and welcome back to Zintaro Perspective. If you're new to the channel, Zintaro Perspective is a channel where a love for filmmaking and cars comes together to create content for you. Now what we're going to be doing today is doing some colour grading of some of my previous visuals. Let's run that first visual. edit not a bad edit at all it's been a year since i filmed this or well, since i made the whole video in general and i've learned a lot of things since then about sound design composition and in hindsight there's a lot of things i would change and i'll probably talk about the rest of the changes in another video but right now let's focus on the color let's jump into the screen and get busy okay so right about now we are in premiere pro my editor of choice i I'm on a Mac system, but I just prefer Premiere Pro as that's what I used because initially when I started this, I was editing on a PC. So hey ho, old habits die hard. But anyways, so I've taken a screen grab of one of the scenes from the visual and what I'm going to do or what I usually do is I will put uh, an adjustment layer on top, which is going to be for my grade, which is there at the moment. Let me just turn that off for now. And put this back on zero, 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 put everything on zero, zero. And then, whoa, drop my pen. And then this one here is going to be, uh, this is the actual layer with the actual image on it. So what I wanna do first of all is color correction. And I'm gonna go to the basic correction tab. And what I like to do most of all is I wanna start with my blacks, cause there's quite a lot of blacks here that I really wanna bring out. I tend to go for darker kind of, uh, there's something I like about those dark, dark, really high contrast kind of images. Um, like my, some of my favorite films are stuff like, you know, the Batman versus Superman, that really dark kind of, that's what I'm going to do here, but that's what I kind of like. And I'm going to go for that. I tend to aim towards the darker scenes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tip the blacks right about here and see where where that looks nice of course you need to make sure you always have your illuminatory you gotta use your illuminatory scopes because you want to make sure that you're not making your images too dark and um or overexposing them as well so with this illuminatory scope you want to be for all the darker colors you don't want to breach the zero which is about you want them to touch about here and with the whites and the exposure you don't want them to go above 100 so where i'm gonna stick us i think minus in the 50s should be nice somewhere somewhere there looks about nice actually yeah let's do yeah i think i like that that's okay for now it's a starting point we can come back to it and then i usually like to jump into my shadows and my highlights at this stage so let's go into the shadows, bring some of those, more of those blacks in, some of the shadows in, that's it. And with the shadows, I usually like to push this quite a bit. You can already see the image becoming less flat now. We've, we've gone to minus 81 on the shadows there. And then let's see if we can compensate for this a little bit by taking the high. Well, let's see if we need any any more brightness and highlights. I don't think I want to touch that too much. If I increase, nah, I don't like that at all. Let me put the highlight back on zero. And let's get a bit of contrast in there. And like I said, I like those high contrasts in my images. So I'm probably going to push this to about 50. 50, yeah, about 50. Yeah, 
I really, I'm really liking that. Let's go, let's go to 50.9. The point line is in there just for the sake. <laughs> but um, yes, now we're gonna go. We've done our blacks, done the shadows, done the highlights, and from our luminary scope here, what we can see is we haven't really breached uh, the zero and the hundred. Um, everything looks kind of well balanced, and you can see here this is more telling me about the colors in the actual image as you can see everything's flying towards the reds obviously the main part of the photo is this huge red car so i'm really feeling that vibe and generally the color correction that i applied to this image i'm going to apply to all the videos on my timeline um, so this is just like i'm creating the template for the tone of the rest of the visual um, if that makes sense i'm going to try saying um as much as possible so oh bit of bit of audio there this is um an audio track that i put in so that once i'm showing you the color grade it's gonna have a little cool edit there so just a, a, a little a little bit of the entire respect to source on there you'll see what i mean in a bit when we're finished so i've done i've done the blacks i've done the shadows and the highlights exposure i'm not really going to touch that because the original image was quite it was, it was a fairly sunny day at, at the time so i'm probably not gonna touch the exposure but yeah, the contrast, I'm feeling that. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't want to touch. I read, you, I would I would have touched the highlights if it was a bit of a darker image, but right now I'm gonna leave that as it is. So yeah, that's pretty much the color correction of the photo done. Nothing's too exposed, everything's okay. And what I would normally do now is once I've done that, I'm going to, this is the bit where I just slap on a lot and see, I'll, I'll put the lot on and see, you know, how much of that intensity that I want. And this lot pack is a lot pack that I purchased from the good people at Triune Films. If you don't know Triune Films are, they're a YouTube channel called Film Riot. And they did some amazing, um, some ama amazing lots, lookup tables f based upon films that they enjoyed so six underground is that ryan reynolds film he recently released and i really love the richness of the colors they got in six underground especially with um when balancing out their teals i'm, I'm really i was really feeling that so what i'm really going for here is um i've applied this underground like here but it's on zero so you don't really see anything yet but let's say let me just over it over intensify the image a little bit here so you can see uh, is that even on let's have a look yeah so ah the reason why you can't see that there you go so oh there you are so I've over I've I've put the intensity on 200 just so you can see the lot in its most powerful form on the actual image. Now this looks cool. Okay, it looks better than the original image, but there's too much of the lot. The lot's too powerful there and it's really taking it to, ex to an extent where I don't like. Usually with LUTs, I like to be somewhere between 20, in terms of the, the percentage of intensity, I like to be about between 20%, 35%, somewhere there. So if we take this down to about 20%, for example, you can barely, f it's, it's, you can see the, the colors are still there, but like the, they just dabbing on top of the image. And what I really wanted to do is see here where the lot is going to be the most effective for me so just now i said i usually like to keep it 20 to 30 but i'm realizing now that with this one i'm probably gonna need to bump it up a bit more so if i've taken it up now to about 55 yeah the the colors are adding i, I want to bring out some of those greens a bit more um and i really want to offer up more of a contrast from the car as well so i'm going to take it to about maybe a hundred and now you could see a bit more a lot more vibrance coming out not from just the car but in terms of in relation to the background as well so i'm going to take that a bit more just a bit more i, th I don't think i'll breach yeah about there i'm really feeling that 
I'm really, 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 really feeling that. I mean, from that to that. So that's just the color corrected image. And then we've just added a bit more color there. So that's decent. I'm feeling that it's making me feel some type of way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you guys the finished lot, the finished, the finished image, or the finished grade rather, for uh, this little scene here. Let me spin that now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna color correct the rest of the footage that is here. And all of this footage here you see in the blue, I'm gonna color correct that. And then this is the adjustment layer with the grade as you can see on there. I've already added the same details we have from the adjustment layer that was on top here. That was meant to be 1.4, I don't know why that changed. 1.4, I believe it was. Yeah, so I've added that here on top of the, on top of the whole grade. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add that to the rest of the clips in terms of the color correction. I've already got the grade up there. And then now, after that, I'm gonna play you the finished visual with everything on it. So give me a minute, literally less than a minute actually in, edit, in the video terms. Give me a hot minute and then I'll show you everything when it's done. Okay, people, so I've added color correction to all of the footage and I've put the adjustment layer right here on top with the LUT, the six on the ground LUT. So now without further ado, my people, my tribe, I'm gonna play that visual with all of our color correction right now. I feel a billion times better about that visual now. I was really able to bring out those shadows, bring out the contrast, bring out those darker elements of the visual that I really like to incorporate in my visuals. I feel like I've enhanced the visual a lot more. I hope that you see that as well. I hope that you're able to see a bit of the growth in my own really journey as a filmmaker from when I first filmed that up to now. And I really hope that you enjoyed this kind of format because I really want to go back during this quarantine period to really go back and revisit a lot of my older visuals where I didn't really know everything I know now and I want to see if I'm able to really improve them and hopefully during that process of me improving my own work you as well can learn a couple of things and make your own visuals and enhance them to an amazing standard because that's what this channel is all about this whole journey series is about me and my journey with cars and with filmmaking and becoming the best automated filmmaker that I can be because that's what I want to do. And I really hope that you enjoyed this format. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this format and you want to see more of this because i got a hell of stuff that I really want to go back and fix, rather, in terms of the composition, the colouring, the sound design. Sound design is a big one because, you know, I really want to get away from this whole thing of just plastering on a, an edit that I think is cool and then just putting on a track like that's not filmmaking you want to really make it a cinematic experience and it's about a combination of the great angles of the great sound of everything that the audience is watching but we'll talk about another visual my people this is now episode 22 of the journey series and I know I said I wasn't going to film 22 but since the COVID situation happened I really need to extend this series because I don't want to start season two 
without being an, in a position where I can film more cars, without being in a position where I can film more different styles of videos. So that's why I'm extending season one of the journey. I don't know how many episodes it's going to be, but the last episode will obviously be coming around the end of COVID. Um, and then once we're out of here and I'm able to film all that new content that I promised you guys, then we can go into season two. The intro, I filmed it, it's done. The outro, it's all good, it's done. It's just time to get into that when we're on season two. But for now, my people, I don't want to take up too much of your time. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, leave a little love. If you think thought I could improve on some things, please let me know because I really want to grow this channel. Help me reach my first 100 subscribers. I think at the moment we're about 73. So please hit the subscribe button and we'll grow because I do want to get my target of reaching 100,000 subscribers, 100,000 members of the Centauro respective community. My people, I've been your boy Zentaro, and I'll catch you in the next visual. Yeah, yeah.